this is when we first came this is this is where it still looks like it did it back in 2005. It's a massive area I mean it's four and a half acres which is unheard of we're we're stone throw from um, the Houses of Parliament and from the South Bank and everything else and this sort of sits in here which is unbelievable. Our key thing was really about what do we do to about the long-term development of this community so when we looked at what the big issues were the big issues were social isolation the big issues were about confidence developing confidence the big issues that were about the gangs how do you break that down we've got to target the the early age groups so the 8 to 13 because we knew if we could do that you could stop the flow of those following siblings into gangs if we can put the positive messages with our young people so they want to be like Junior, they want to be like Rebecca. Then you start to change. The life of a 12, 13 year old in this area, but it's not that simple, because in school you get diverted. There's a lot of negative people around you. This used to be a different school, and then it got closed down and then the kids around the neighbourhood, we didn't really have much to do. So we thought, let's go here. There was a football pitch. We, we all had a passion for football and we started coming here. It's the people that used to encourage us. He never used to try to put us down. He always used to try to lift us, make us better than we are. I think sport is a really good, is a really good option. And I would say it's the people here that helped us realise that sport is important. Ready? Let's go. Why would someone without a goal or an aim or a focus do any exercise? And change! But it's only till a coach or a mentor tells them how much they can do that they realise how much they can do. Change. And that, that becomes part of their normality then. You decide the pace! They, they don't realise how much they can do and no one's ever told them then how are they ever supposed to know? He's got more in him, that's it. We as coaches and mentors, uh, we do boxing all the time. I know a young kid at a certain age can be pushed more than they think they can be pushed. So we've got to retrain the young people to realise, look, sport's good. Moving around's good. Being active is good. Come on, it's the last round. Everything counts in this round. Push it. I'm going to get sweaty. I'm going to get breathless. And the more sweaty and the more breathless I get, the quicker I will get to my goal and I'll get to my aim. Keep going, keep going, keep It's making them realise that Getting fit is not a bad thing. Getting sweaty is not a bad thing. Getting breathless is definitely not a bad thing. Well done. All right, out you go. It's fun to do PE, and when we're doing it, we express ourselves and we let our bodies do what they want to do and not like let them be trapped. Yeah, and, and we don't give up when we're doing it. Um, we keep on going and going and going until we have to stop, but usually we don't need to stop. Hey, who's going first over here? Ready? Off we go. Totally. Yeah, because if you just start at this age, you'll get used to it and your body will get used to it as well. Well done, next person, are you ready? It calms me down because I've got all the um, energy. energy out of me and now it's time for school. We love to run, we love to jog and we don't stop. Lots of effort, guys, you're doing really well. For course. Yeah, so it gets you off the street, keeps you fit and yeah, it's a lot of fun. I love running. It makes like a part of you grow. I love exercising. and I want to do sport to get big and stronger. They say, well, our confidence builds. I can think I can do this now, because I've seen this person, I can do that. You could do whatever you want, as long as you put your mind to it.